If you want a ball, then you gotta be all in If you stand tall, you can never be falling If you want it all, then you can't be stalling So much head on the streets, it's so appalling If you want a ball, then you gotta be all in If you stand tall, Hi, I'm Henry Rock, the president of the Six Mains Community Group here today we are doing a cleanup in the neighborhood, community cleanup. This is the first project that the group undertakes as they started. Our main aim is to prepare ourselves for Vision 2020, the gathering. We have an event coming up the 30th of November. The name of the event is Strictly Beijing. The event starting at 10 a.m. I have a whole day of Beijing dishes, Beijing music, Beijing games. In February, we have our main event, which would be two days of activities. It will start on Friday evening with a documentary on six men. On the Saturday morning, we'll have um, the church service. A service on the beach in six men where we will pay um, respect to those fishermen who went to sea and didn't return. Yeah. 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 Yeah, she will be in development. Hmm? I didn't mean she did any girl water. Hmm. Oh. Okay. Hi, morning. My name is Dave Hurley. I'm the chairperson for the St. Peter District Emergency Organization. And at this moment, I'm in six minutes at this cleanup this morning. It's nice to see that we have. The residents who live in the area come out and take part in this cleanup. And at the hurricane season draw close to the end, which is the 30th of November, we are still anticipating that we're going to get some rain, which may cause flooding. So this initiative is very important at this time. And the importance of the DO or the District Emergency Organization is the part arm of the Department of Emergency Management. As we are here in the community, we are the first responders in the community if anything happens. And I would like to see more people come on board in these initiatives and join the District Emergency Organization across Barbados so that we can have a cleaner and a more resilient of people who can be trained in different areas to help in a situation where a disaster strike, whether natural or man-made. And I hope that this morning this will be a continuing effort going into the new year and we as, as chairman of the organization i will do my entire best to assist in any way i can thank you today the six men's community group is holding a cleanup on the beach and on the other side of the road um, we have about maybe 20 people or so out this morning from six o'clock and we, we we did so much we did from cutting the grass to sweeping up the garbage so sweeping the sand, uh, we did so much. I know we have a bobcat here from the National Conservation Commission here with us, helping us clean up all that we have done. Um, we have from young to old out here this morning, and we're doing this not because you know people want fame or anything, but because this is our community, and we need to keep it clean so that we can be comfortable, so that our children can be comfortable, and that we will stay healthy because a nasty community cannot equate to a healthy like so and I guess after this we're gonna to start to work on the beautification part of it we want to plant some trees and we want to maintain that as well because we want six mains to continue to be one of the most beautiful parts of st. Peter that it is because I mean you drive around the island so much and you see buildings 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 along the beach side and six mains is one area you can come and you can drive and just enjoy the view of the ocean Pleasant good morning to one and all. Uh, we are here in Six Men's on this Sunday morning carrying out some cleanup uh, exercises. The main idea is to assist in the beautification of our community 
For too long, the community has been uh, run to ruin with lots of dialect structures, lots of um, shrubs, lots of bush, lots of shrubbery. We form an organization, the Six Men's Community Group, to assist in, in the beautification of this lovely part of the, the country, on the northwestern end of our country. So we want to take quite a bit of work between the boats because it's a fishing village, it's a fishing community, and the guys pull the boat up for, for repairs on an annual base. Well, as you can see, some of the boats doesn't make it back to the, to the ocean, so some of them lies a bit derelict. Despite that, we decided to make sure the areas between the vessels are clean. We brought out numerous persons from the community who would have come from as early as 6.30 this morning and started doing all the preparation work, all the cleaning work. Of course, it's a, it's a mammoth task, so we've had to have some help uh, with heavier equipment. So we call in our friends from the National Conservation Commission, uh, who has been more than eager to assist us. Uh, we have a ball cap at the present moment that is doing some of the heavy, heavier type of clearing. And we have the trucks ready and waiting to be filled, so take it off to the landfill. And we are going to continue to remove um, as much shrubbery from here as possible because we have a bus stop here and um, and it could be a bit hazardous for some of the users of the bus stop especially females in our community <laughs> We have a couple hundred homes within this area here and, uh, and those folks come down early in the morning, 5.30, 6 o'clock to take the public transport from right here at this uh, bus stop. So we want to make sure that the area is a bit cleaner and we do not provide any areas for people to hide in and get up to mischief. So today's Cleanup uh, pro project or program is all about beautifying our community, and and of course we have to now put we we'll also put some mechanism in place to assist uh, with the prevention of the community going back to the state. You out of my mind, consuming all of my time. Thinking about you on a daily. I just wanna make you my baby. You are driving me insane. I just can't contain all these emotions in my brain. I can't sustain. You got me singing, oh la la la, oh la la la. We would rather it not get back to the state, so we will when we meet again. Of course, we will have NCC involved, who is going to assist us with the beautification of it on completion of the clearing.
These are just a few things that I like about you And I'm gonna tell you to your face That I appreciate Oh, la, la. 